3 is definitely showing its age. Don't get us wrong, it's a great game, offering a varied and immersive adventure in the unique Rayman style. It's just that nothing seems to have changed since the previous wacky adventure. Hoodlum Havoc unsurprisingly opens up with the usual Rayman-style adventure, a loving mix of platforming and puzzle-based action. And it's still very much a case of bounding around big, vibrant worlds in search of those elusive lums. So it's fair to say that Rayman 3 provides little in the way of innovation. There's a welcome emphasis in combat, and by targeting enemies through the R1 button, you can strike them down whilst on the move. And Rayman also has some new powers to help him in his quest. The gameplay is pleasingly diverse too, and there are plenty of times where you'll be plunged into various unorthodox scenarios, like flying or swimming. The mini-games are more substantial than your average platformer as well. There's a 2D platform homage to the original Rayman outing and a souped-up tennis pong-style game starring the hoodlums. Plus, there are loads of wonderfully animated extras to unlock, like the reasonably funny hoodlum corporate training videos. Faster you run, the faster you die. The loading times are kept to a minimum, and everything generally runs as it should, with the camera system being extremely well behaved for a change. The value of Rayman is pure, uncomplicated fun. We know it's hardly innovative and slightly old-fashioned compared to the more modern platform offerings, but there's heaps of varied and immersive action on offer here. If you're a platform fan, then you'll enjoy this one loads. Yeah. <laughs>